One, two, three, go. Rotate! You've got to be excited about it if you expect the athletes to be excited about it. If they come in and they see me not into it, then it's an excuse for them to do the same. I want laser beam focus today. And Quater, let's go. Good two point stance. Focus up. On ready, ball up. On whistle, chase it down. Ready. We set the tone in everything that we do with our energy, with our expertise. When I blow the whistle, you're gonna jump and immediately transition into a sprint. Right? The whole focus of the speed school is there's a track and field kind of heat format. So they're constantly competing um, in this kind of year-long track meet format. I design kind of a circuit of development drills for speed that the athletes go through with their coaches. They've got to have results. So I can tell them till I'm blue in the face about how many NFL guys I've coached, what I've done this or that, but until they get faster, they feel faster, it's still gonna kind of be just talk, right? So results. The first kind of mandate Coach Kingsbury gave me was, I want you to make Dylan Cantrell faster. He said he's got all the tools, it's all he needs. I mean, that was the biggest thing when he came in is just to get me as fast as possible. And so we spent a lot of extra time, just, just me and him out there pulling sleds and working on mechanics and, and things like that. How, how is he so big and able to, you know, keep up with, <laughs> with guys like me and Kiki and Giles? Dylan Cantrell, winner! You go out there and you're like, okay, this guy is 6'2", we're 5'9", 5'10", 5'11", how is he keeping up with us? But it's definitely Coach Sal. Coach Sal, you know, he does a great job of, of, of teaching us the techniques of running. The X-Man, Xavier Morton! Yeah! example of um, one of my pro day guys as you can see it kind of gives three different pieces of information speed power and force and I can see um, where his force kind of trails off where his power peaks and also at what time he can continue to speed up basically so that will tell me does he need to get stronger does he need to get more explosive um, does he need to simply move faster? He's strong and powerful, but he needs to move faster. A lot of common measures of strength, squats, cleans, etc., they're all vertical in nature, but sprinting is horizontal. So this gives me data as to how much of that force he can direct horizontally, and that will dictate how well he's able to accelerate. Another huge piece, last piece that is huge in our speed development program is analyzing film. So the coaches, as you know, meet every day with their athletes to analyze film. This is what you did good, this is what you did wrong. It only makes sense that we would do the same thing with movement, right? So here's a picture of Nick Shimanek sprinting and, and a session that I had with him analyzing. You can see um, body angles and limb positions and basically a, a session where we look at his technique and discuss ways to improve it. Just like you would on the football field, we do the same thing here with movement. That's the man detective, baby, you see it?